recording. All right, we're back at the trails, and uh, we're gonna get a quick hit out here. I'm probably gonna upload this raw. I might not talk that much, but I'm trying to get my trail rides up while it's comfortable to ride to the location. Worked on bikes all, all day and did a little test ride. So I did get a little ride in on a, another bike. It was on the knockoff FCR DRZ. Uh, word for the wise. If you are going to add kickstart, add the genuine kit not the knockoff one that's $60, $70 cheaper. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll go in the sandy side first. It's pretty hot, it's about 90 degrees for the last day of September. Okay, I lied, I'm not gonna go down the sand area. I'm just going to get a quick hit, like I say, tonight, and, oh yeah, the leaves are falling. Recording. Oh, well, looks like I get to edit this one. I got a phone call. So, that's kind of a bummer. But I guess a little edit never hurt anybody. In that case, I'll probably, earlier in the video, I'll probably show you my video. Well, it already happened, so you'll already have seen it. A buddy of mine wanted to go do the Cassidy run, which is the first Sunday of the month. They meet up at Cassidy, Kansas. It's kind of like a rally, like a little mini rally. And we usually go straight. We're, let's go right. This is a sand track. I really hate telling people no. Getting a little whoopy. Man, that's fun. That's some good whoops. All right, we're gonna go down into the woods. Again, we don't have a whole lot of time here. And I hate the fact that these Jeeps or side-by-sides got down here and decided they were gonna ride anyway and rutted it out real bad. But, you know, they, they can bring equipment in. And they can do, do a little bit of sawing Hopefully they bring a shovel with them next time. And fill in some of these ruts. Yeah, if you're going fast, you could probably jump some of this stuff, but I'm not racing anybody. I'm just out here to enjoy it. Still haven't done my needle adjustment. Okay, I think we'll go, we'll hit this little climb that you've seen before. The tractor is in. Oh, it tightens up in here. Meets up with the main trail. As it gets closer to freeze time. Let's see, we'll get out of the woods a little bit. These will get better as the foliage won't have the trees weighted down as much. 
Well, I think that might have been some spider stuff. I'm not sure what I'll do when it comes you know, to the time of year where it gets cold. I might just uh, improve my base layers. I'm still right here, maybe put some over gloves on. Ooh, I'm gonna hit through here. That's a nice little diversion. So there's a tree that's gonna go down at some point because it's so rotted out. But as I was saying, I hate, I hate telling the buddies buddies no. Oh wow, got some climbage. I don't think this is very familiar. That's pretty nice. Little hill climb. Tristan would love that. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna turn back around and hit it because I, I know where I'm at. Oh, somebody's drinking some bush light. If it was PBR, you'd be a lot cooler. All right. So this isn't obviously going to do it any justice. But it's some, kind of some sweet hill climbage for being where we're at. Let's see where this goes. Okay. Just trying to keep an eye out. Oh, yeah, this is the dead end we made it to last time. I should have known better. But again, I've only been out here a couple times this season. So if the side-by-side -side peoples Let's see where this takes us to. Does it take us down to the water? Oof. I don't like that. Wow, somebody's got a serious saw. Maybe they'll cut that old dead wood. Dead wood, that was a good sh show back in the day. Probably should go back and hit that hill climb, but I will sometime. Daylight's already starting to fail me. Is anybody hanging out down there? Don't want anybody to get pissed off that I'm out here riding their trails. But there are trails. Ooh, this is pretty tight. This isn't very well traveled yet. Yeah, some of these spiders that are hanging are kind of mean looking, but I think they're just the old garden, garden spiders. So they do look pretty mean. Yeah, here's some more rut, ruts. Thanks, side-by-side -side people. But hey, you know, side-by-side -side people, as I keep saying, they're keeping the trails open. If it was just moto people, this stuff wouldn't be open right now. Yeah, they've been doing some maintenance on this stuff out here. This might be fairly fresh trail. All right, this is the this goes towards the sandier stuff. Someone's beer koozie back there. Yeah, this this is where it starts getting a little bit more difficult for me as a person that's not very experienced off road. I just know. Don't let off. But also don't want to give it too much. And I'm kind of got, kind of dangling my 
my feet right now, so in case something did happen and I lost. Oh, see what happens when you let off. And I lost traction and gained traction again. That would be less than ideal. Oh, wow. She got loose on me. <laughs> that squirrel's hauling ass. big old tree down again they did some maintenance let's keep riding over here okay so does this go down to the water if it does I gotta come back yeah I don't want to be here <laughs> oh, D606 doesn't do terrible in the sandy, silty stuff like this. There's tires that could do better, but it won't handle the DOT conditions as well either. Okay. And yeah, I'm sitting down a lot and Brad would get mad at me. But I'll tell you what, I'm heavy and my bike's heavy and I'm not gonna impress anybody. All right, back to the sand fun again. And this, this is just gonna be tough because I lost all my momentum. And then a false neutral. Oh! It's so inconsistent to try to stay in the pack down area. As soon as you gain traction with the front, you start losing the rear, you start losing the rear, you gain traction in the front. So it becomes kind of a seesaw. And she's a heavy bike, and I'm not a light rider. I'm not a jockey. Woo! I'm kind of a fan with these wide ratio gears, having a small front sprocket and a pretty big rear sprocket. For this application, Because even with this being a slant FCR39, I know it'd be a better operating machine with an MX FCR on here. But with the enrichment circuit on this, it kind of makes it run too rich when you're off throttle. I don't know if that makes sense to you. But I still don't stall or flame out or anything. Let's see if there's anywhere. I think this is where I was at earlier where I could have cut into this. Yeah. No, there's a clearing there. It's kind of a partial clearing. few areas where people cut in over there it looks like it's not very well used yet
and I'm out of here. I'm trying to conceal myself because um, this is a secret place. Oh, there was a good place right there. There is a good place to go in right there. And this will be... I'm going to go ahead and get off of here because... And turn it around. I think that's the area. Let's see. I think that's the area where the hill climbs were. Let's take a look. Trying to refamiliarize myself. Not entirely sure where I'm at. This isn't as clear of trail. Haven't been out here, so treating it like a siding lap. Someone did a really good job of cl clearing this trail. Huh. I'll be a wuss and go around it. This isn't as, this is more of a motorcycle trail, obviously. But I think a quad could use it. why you don't go hauling through here when you don't know it. Yeah, I came quite a f bit farther than I thought I did. Now that's kind of nice being somewhere different. Just taking our time. Oh, that's a nasty spider web. Sorry, buddy. There's another one. Uh. Oh. Are we back at the sand track almost? No, we're not that far yet. It is much more open. This is really flowy as opposed to the real tight stuff that we were used to seeing. So we've got a fork here. Oh, real sandy, real sandy. I think, yeah, this goes to another place here. tight. Yeah, it's time to start getting home. And that was another gigantic spider. Just making sure my stuff's still in place. Free firewood. Oof. And that's one of those things when you start getting this failing light. Some of these things don't become as apparent. Oh, fuck. Not sure what that was. Something sh sharp stuck me felt like. Hope it wasn't one of those grumpy spiders. Real sandy, and I think this is where we were earlier. Yeah, this is where we entered, and I got my phone call. Cool.
Okay, real quick. If you look here, my Voyager GPS recorded all my loops around here, and you can see where I made more than one trip through that area. I don't know if you can see it or not. They also make a Voyager Pro. Anyway, that concludes today's trail ride on the dozer, the dozer doozy. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we hit it again tomorrow. I'm liking this stuff. Bye-bye.